From Weddle to Shams, from NFL to NBA, question mark. You know I don't know basketball, but Shams is going to fill you in on trade deadline. Is that what's happening? Ugh. Oh, no. We're, we're not this. Is this actual happening or is this cheesiness? I think our next guest thinks that we're going to talk basketball, but I don't really think we're going to talk any basketball. Senior lead NBA insider for The Athletic and Stadium, a FanDuel family member uh, who hosts Run It, Run it Back, our very own Rizga Shams is here. Hey, Shams. I can't hear her. Oh, no, we have audio issues. We can't hear Shams. What's going on? <laughs> What's good? Hold on. They're trying to figure it out. Shams, we have a poor connection. <laughs> All right, can you hear me? I can't hear you. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you're saying amazing things about me. Uh, hopefully they can hear me. Okay, it was Women in Sports Day yesterday. I just want to say uh, a couple things. One, okay. we're the same age. We're both from Chicago. We're both Aries. You're a Missouri grad. That was in my top three. I just didn't go to Missouri. Uh, your parents were immigrants. My parents were immigrants. I just wanted to say, you get your flowers, just everything you built. I have a lot of respect. I know yesterday was Women in Sports uh, Day, so congrats on everything you've done Shams. and keep building. Shams, Shams, what is it? Is this like a prank? I'm waiting for like the, the other shoe to drop. That is the sweetest no, thing that I've ever heard. Thank you so much. I'm right day back yesterday. at you. Like, I just want to make sure you got your love. That's all. I, I didn't get enough love, but now I did. Now I feel very <laughs> loved. And you are just, you are amazing. I'm glad. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, thankfully, thankfully. Shams, you were the best. We love Run It Back. You and Chandler Parsons are absolutely hilarious. And I'm gonna see you on Friday so we get to hang out in Arizona. FanDuel has this crazy party going on on Friday night where I believe you're going up against another woman in sports who I, I looked up to a, a ton in Michelle Beadle. How is that gonna go down and are you nervous? I'm definitely nervous. I mean, this is, this is you know, we can keep secrets on this show, you know, you, Marissa, Conrad, Richard. So this is, I know this show's not gonna get many views. You know, me and you, we don't get that many views. So I'll just say this on the show. I've never played beer pong. Uh, you, you guys actually broke the news to me that I'm playing Michelle or I'm matched up against Michelle. So I think. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's my first experience. I'm a quick learner. I'm sure I'll, I'll win the whole thing, whoever I'm playing. You're I'll playing. do my, my thing, what I always do. Shams, you're playing beer pong against her. Now, if you had to pick an NBA player to play beer pong with as a partner, who would you pick? Well, I'm going to go Chandler Parsons. He's not in the NBA now, but I'm going with Chandler Parsons. That's my guy. Uh, he's gotten himself in a little bit of hot waters the last month or so. He's gone <laughs> at Utah uh, Watanabe uh, in Brooklyn. He's a Japanese player. Uh, he's gone at uh, LeBron James with, you know, with the goat comment. He's talked about his dog, his, his French bulldog. So he's hit all demographics, but that's why we love Chandler. He brings his great takes to run it back, and, and he says what's on his mind, and that's why we love Chandler. I've never met Chandler, and you know I don't even follow the NBA, but if I'm seeing the stuff that Chandler Parsons is saying about other people, you know it's broken through. Like, it, it, it's amazing. And so everybody has to watch Run It Back. And also, I want to talk about this because the NBA tra trade deadline is coming. And you have a trade deadline show for Stadium. I want to give this love here. It's Inside the Association trade deadline special. It's presented by FanDuel, which we love. And it's live exclusively on Stadium and Twitter, 2 to 2.30 Eastern, February 9th. This was a big success last year. What do I need to know? Yeah, we got a million viewers last year. This year, we're going to bring it back. Pat Garrity, who was an assistant GM with the Pistons. He also played 10 years in the NBA. Uh, Quentin Richardson, they'll be our guest analyst, uh, and they'll have me. So we'll, we'll be talking about all the news, analyzing all the news. I can't wait for it. And also, next week on Run It Back, three days of shows. We'll see if some trades break during the shows. We had a trade, uh, actually an injury break last week. So I think you never know what can happen in the NBA. I, I love that. Quentin Richardson, Marquette player? Is that true? Uh, I think DePaul. I think, DePaul. I, I, I think DePaul. Shit. You got to be up on your Chicago knowledge. You know, Kay, I saw you said uh, LA K or New York K a few weeks ago. We want Chicago yeah. K. Like, you got to pull back into your roots here. Come on. You need it. I don't know Chicago well enough. When I'm in Chicago, you and I have to hang out, and then everyone can talk about it and, <laughs> on NBA Twitter. Okay, we have like a minute left. I'm going to get some, uh, some, you know, listen, you're playing beer pong, so I'm going to serve you some things, and you got to give me rapid-fire answers. I believe in you, Shamsi. We can get through this. Biggest candidate to get traded, go. 
I'm gonna go Pascal Siakam or OG Ananubi in Toronto. Definitely the biggest names. John Collins and Jay Crowder uh, are also very, very uh, big trade candidates as well. I've never heard of any of them. Which team will be the most aggressive at the deadline? Let's go. Milwaukee, Phoenix, the Clippers, the Lakers. Uh, I, I think I think that's it. I think I'm hitting all of them. Phoenix. Better seen NBA All-Star Weekend or the Super Bowl? I've never been to the Super Bowl, so I can't comment on that. So I'm going to go with uh, NBA All-Star Weekend until I'm proven otherwise. I can't hear you. They, they, they love to talk instead of letting me talk to you, Shams. What a mess. I love you. <laughs> talk to you. I'll see you next week.